back now. You all calm down now? <laughs> what, I was, what I was trying to say about that article, you've gone through a lot of periods in your life, tried a lot of various things, I guess, as, as the article said, kind of to find you, right? Right. Uh, now, what stage are you living in now at the I time? I found me. You have? Yeah. Well, and what did you find? I'm serious. I'm, I'm not trying to be facetious. Well, I but just, But I know you, you know, went through primal, you went through primal screaming, yeah, you went through... Yeah, people should never do that. Yeah? That's a mess. That's no good? Well, no, I don't think you have to feel bad to feel good, Johnny, you yeah. know? I really don't. I mean, there's enough stuff going out in the world. We just have to... I mean, that's the reason I wrote this movie. Right. The reason I wrote this movie is because so many people that I know don't have good relationships. It just seems that one of the things in the world that we seem to do better, we need to do better, is communicate. For sure. Uh, there's so few people that seem to really have good relationships. And what I mean by that is to easily communicate with each other. I mean, how many people here on this podium have been married more than once? <laughs> that's, that's very true. That is so, so true. Uh, Ed has had a, a marriage or two. Uh, I have had a, a several. Uh, you, now, I, not to put any other unhappiness in your life, but you, you just broke up. Uh, some I can't time ago. believe, I know, I'm going through a separation divorce now, and I always thought I'd be married forever. I always thought that anything I did would be forever, you know, but you have to work at relationships. You have to... Did you work at it? Yeah, we did, but I just, we're just better friends than we were husband and wife. Didn't you say something like that? You're a better relationship with, uh, with friends than you are as on, uh, well, than I've husband never, and wife? I've never had a marriage. I mean, I only had one before Stan. Right. And, um... But, you know, I come from Seattle, Washington, nice girl, comes to Hollywood. Oh, yeah, hi, Seattle. What's it got to so, do with coming to Seattle? Well, I'll tell you what it has to do. When I was going to high school, if a girl went to California, it ruined her reputation because she was either going for an abortion or to get her nose done. <laughs> That's the truth. So I could never go to California because it's supposed to be a wild and woolly place. Yeah. So when I came here, I was kind of innocent of thought. I always thought I'd be married for, forever. And now I'm going through my second breakup. And... I'll get it right one day. I know I will. But... Well, you kind of grew up in a fantasy world. I mean, you think rather so? than a real world. Well, sure. Every, everybody, when they're young, I want to grow up and be happy. Isn't that it? Well, I don't, I th think I don't think do you go out looking. Happy. I don't think you grow out looking for happiness. I mean, that comes with it. If everything else is going well, the happiness is kind of. Uh... Well, did you ever know you'd be married how many times? <laughs> <laughs> did you? Well, no, no, no. I didn't expect to be married. And in fact, I, I would have been much happier, I'm sure. If I'd have had one good, successful marriage, yeah. but it didn't work out that way. Well, so that's... That doesn't make me a terrible person. No, I not just, in any way, shape, I'm not good at it. Some people are good at model airplanes. Well, uh, you're good at it now, Johnny. Some people make leather belts, real hard, <laughs> leather craft. I'm just... <laughs> are good at that. I guess I'm not too good at it. You're doing it now. Yes, and I, I think I finally, I finally have it right. And she's a doll. Yes, she is. We had dinner the other night. Yes, we did. Yeah, she, Johnny was really dear. You know, he's called and he said, I've known you for a lot of years, and here you're going through something, and let us take you out to dinner. Really made me feel How about good. that, folks? <laughs> Anyhow, with everything that's going on in the world, I yeah. looked around me and I thought, I want to write something that has a universal theme. And what, is, what, what would have a universal theme? People trying to communicate. As women, you know, are, are, are taught to serve. We grow up, we're taught to serve, to make everyone outside ourselves happy. But I don't think it's any easier for guys in the world. Right. Because I think guys grow up and from the time they're five or six years old, it's okay, Johnny, you be a big boy for daddy. Don't you cry. Don't you cry. And then the guy has to grow up keeping all his feelings inside himself or he's not cool. Then he has to go out and earn the bacon and eggs and come home and Martha fetches about everything that happened all day. So it's not easy for a woman or a man or a boy or a girl. That's what I was talking about, a fantasy role when you're young. That's the way you're taught I know. men should act and women should act. Exactly. And that ain't real. And so that's why I wrote a movie called The End of Innocence. And you, per, you, you paid for a lot of this, didn't you? You sold your home to pay for this? I know. You raised money from uh, I friends? I raised money, a million, three hundred thousand dollars, because that's I thought that's what the movie was going to cost. Yeah. That's not a lot of money. Is it I mean, doing well? Well, it just opened. It opens tonight, Johnny. It opens tonight in Los Angeles, Seattle, Boston, and New York. It opened for a week yeah. for Academy Consideration, and, and it did incredibly well. <clears throat> I, sold I, out I saw the reviews, and they were marvelous. We have a little film clip. Oh, uh, good. Tell us what we're going to see here. Okay. You know how when the person, whether it be a male or a female, says they break a date with you, and you say, okay, honey, you can break a date with me, and then you come home later, and you call them expecting them to answer... 
but somebody else answers. That's what happens here. That's not she good. dials the good. phone, expecting her boyfriend to answer, because he has said, I can't go out with you, Stephanie. I'm so tired. I'm so tired. I have to work tonight. And she calls to check. And she calls to just say hello, honey. How are you doing? Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Okay. Watch some monitor. Major Vincent. Hello? I mean, who was she, Michael? I talked to her myself. Stephanie, you dialed the wrong number. I was asleep by 11 o'clock. Michael, I did not dial the wrong number, okay? I dialed that number 20 times a day. Now, who was she? Honey. Look, there are other Michaels in the world. Now, I'm telling you, I was sleeping, and you dialed the wrong number. But, Michael, I know I didn't. I mean, I know I didn't. Steph? I talked to her myself, Michael. Will you just lay off? You're making me nuts. I don't want to talk to you anymore. Michael? Michael? What? I'm sorry. Oh, God, I'm sorry, honey. Better stop taking so many of those pills. Get some rest. I'm sorry, baby. I think you're right. I think I'm just tired. I'll huh? huh? teach you something. Get an answering machine. <laughs> There's a lesson to be... <laughs> That'll fix the world! That's all good. <laughs> oh, settle down. We'll be right back. Stay where you are. Okay, we're back. You all calm down now? Okay. So good. So some musicians, I'll yeah, tell you. Yeah. You are wonderful. Would it, how devastated would you be? I think your movie's gonna do very well, and I hope it does. How devastated would it be if it didn't do well? Because you put all this time and, and personal effort into it and finances and so forth. Would you just pick yourself up and go on and say, hey, that's, that's life? Yeah, I have to. But what's happened as a result of taking on this thing is I've, I've got a newborn confidence in me. Have you? Well, I had this dream, and the dream is realized. And I want it to do well, and I, and I know there's an audience out there for it. People just respond to it because I think if you speak from the heart, people hear with the heart. Yeah. And it's about all of us. It's about people trying to, trying to love each other. Yeah, I wish you well with it. Thanks, Johnny. Are you still, uh, now what are the cycles you went through? Are you still a vegetarian? I eat, uh, today I tried to eat a piece of chicken, but I couldn't do it. I was so hungry, I was on the plane. Most of the time I eat vegetables and nuts and fish and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Why, yeah. Now, why, why? did you sign? I just, I don't know, why? Oh. Just, it was a question. Oh. Why Are do, you? Why do birds sing? I don't know. <laughs> no, I'm here to I, ask questions. I'm trying it's to learn job. to eat chicken because I think it might be good for me, but it's not a big deal. I eat healthy, yeah. healthfully. All things in moderation? No, I'm, a, I'm an extremist. I'm Are trying you to do it. In uh, obsessive about things? A little bit, yeah. Are you? In certain things. Yeah. Yeah. I tend to be like the pendulum goes this way instead of this way. You know, you know who was going to be on the show last night if we'd have done a show? We had booked your brother. I know. Did you know that uh, Dave Friesen was uh, Diane's brother? Yes, I did. Isn't he brilliant? <laughs> well, guys, Tommy, isn't he Tommy, brilliant? Tommy, yeah, he's marvelous. He's marvelous. He's a brilliant musician, and unfortunately, yeah, he was he, really looking forward to it. And uh, because of what was going on in the world last night, we had to cancel. I know. Are you going to get married again someday? <sighs> I, I don't think so. I, I don't think so. I believe in marriage, but I have to wait a while and see if I can't. You know, I believe in marriage. I believe in the idea of marriage. I don't think there's anything better in the world than a man and a woman being close together. Mm. I, I really don't. I just think it's the best thing in the world. What? That's very good. Everybody agrees with that. Oh. Close do you together. like that? Do you think that? Yeah. yeah. But I don't know if I'll do it. Oh, my God. My mom and dad aren't going to believe this when I say this. But I don't know if I'm going to have somebody tell me that it's okay, meaning a ceremony. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Meanwhile, I don't know. Huh? Meanwhile. Meanwhile, meanwhile what? But he doesn't want me to get too far behind here. Oh. That's well, all. Johnny and I are talking about marriage. We're talking about well, all the good maybe, things in life. Well, yeah, well, let's, uh, let's, let's get is on. Is this a commercial for marriage? Yeah, no, no. Yes, no. it is. <laughs> we'll be back, whatever it is. We'll be back.